I know a lot of people have seen you in stand-up, but this is your first book, so it congratulations. Is. Thank and, you. And you've called it What the Dot, 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 Dot is Normal Anyway. Can you guess what that means? Mm. <laughs> Let's think now. But this, this stems from, you said, right back to when your parents were given this diagnosis that you had cerebral palsy and were told, you know, she's never going to be normal. Yeah. And that has always made you think, yeah. what is normal anyway? Well, I thought, you know, surely everyone's life is normal to, to them. <laughs> and I felt totally normal as a kid. I had no concept of what I couldn't do. I used to, like, climb trees, get stuck up there and then go, why? What's happened? So it's really a label that I didn't identify in any way you, with. You say you grew up in a very loving family. You yeah. know, your parents had you when they were quite young. You had your adorable grandparents, yeah. Spanish grandparents. Yeah. So you were lavish with all this love and they never made you feel that like no. you weren't normal. The only label they ever called me was Francesca. And I think that really instilled a real sense of confidence in me. And I always thought, you know, who is normal? Have you ever met a normal person? No. Where are they? <laughs> you know, it's, it's really great. I said to a guy once, what does normal mean to you? And he said, normal is a cycle on the washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> What's interesting for you, Francesca, is that at home, yeah, you had a great time, mm. and at primary school, but when you went to the all-girls secondary school, wasn't that really nasty? If you want an environment that reminded you just how inadequate you were, go to an all-girls school. <laughs> <laughs> they were not my biggest fans. Mind you, I, I supported the wrong football team, and I ate hummus and the avocado sandwiches. <laughs> and and you, yeah, you said you were quite a tomboy as well, because at your primary school I you'd was. always kind of been with the boys and playing I football. Was. I and... love boys. I love boys so much. <laughs> I had my first boyfriend when I was five. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> we used to kiss over our He-Man castle. It was great. <laughs> um, but I mean, they never made me feel anything other than, you know, fantastic. But then high school was a real come down because I suddenly started realising how other people saw me. Mm. And I've got to say the only time anyone thinks I'm normal is when I'm at the gym on the yeah. cross trainer. Because <laughs> 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 they think I'm totally normal and then I get off and they're like, what the hell happened? <laughs> I'm not going on that machine. That's no, what it I started reading your book yesterday on the train and it was just, I was laughing. Everyone was looking at me like oh, I was weird because I was just laughing my head off. But it's so honest and open. What made you want to write it? Well, I guess my primary thing was that I used to think that feeling insecure was unique to me. And I thought that it was because of being wobbly. But then I realised actually, Nearly everyone is in the gear and no one likes themselves. Like, it's so sad. And I just wanted to remind people that our life is so short and that, you know, I didn't wait 4.5 billion years to exist to worry about bloody wrinkles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, basically, I really wanted to remind people that don't let anyone else make you feel abnormal or not good enough because no one is normal. We're all different. Mm. And I think that's what makes life beautiful. And I think the key to happiness is really appreciating what you have. Mm. Like, lower your expectations. Yes. <laughs> so, really, like, I wake up every morning and I go, Thank God I didn't die, it's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm here to live another day. But you say it's your, your boyfriend, Kevin, who actually gave you that confidence as well and said, stop worrying about labelling yourself as well. Yeah, my just... boyfriend's great. He's, um, he's lovely, he's Irish. I always wanted an Irish man. Me too, I got one. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't the accent great? Lovely, yeah. I, I remember meeting him and saying, I could wake up to that every day. <laughs> um, but it's quite funny, because I remember when we first got together, quite a lot of people said, 
Oh, my God, it's amazing that you're going out with someone different. Well done. I was like, he's only Irish. <laughs> <laughs> and I just had to... Um... Francesca, we could talk to you all day in the book, as Becky said, is so funny. But I've got to ask you where this label Wobbly came from. Yeah. Well, I just think Wobbly is really cool. It's not judgmental. I think it's a lot easier to say than cerebral bloody palsy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and all that my friend is great, he's Wobbly too, as he calls himself neurologically inconsistent, <laughs> which is but great, but hard But it was some tonight. kids, wasn't it, outside your house that said, oh, there's the Wobbly lady. Yeah. Yeah, my, my, my neighbours used to call me the Wobbly Princess. Aww. And I thought that was great. Well, so, listen, it, it's yeah. fabulous to have you here. The book is such a good read. It, it's, you know, I hate to use the word inspiration because I know you don't like it, but there's some very thought-provoking ideas in there about, oh, uh, you, you know, how we shouldn't worry about what we look and, and things, and uh, it's fantastic. And you are fantastically wobbly. Francesca Martinez. Thank you. <laughs> And there's plenty more where that came from. Just click here to watch more interviews with a whole range of famous faces. And click here to subscribe. It's free, so you'd be silly not to, really. Training since, um... Oh, about <laughs> nine <laughs> your training then, Joe? Take us training through this regime. hard training. Yeah. My yours. training regime is core strength exercises. Do you know what that is? I don't. No. Um, 